On March 2nd, 2021, DJI released the DJI FPV drone. As part of that, the DJI Fly app was updated to version 1.3.0. So let's go check out the update and see what's in it and whether it updates on Android automatically. So let's get into it. With the upcoming release of the DJI FPV drone, the Fly app was being updated to version 1.3.0 to support the DJI FPV drone. You can see it on the end of the list there. So for iOS and Android, both versions were updated to 1.3.0. The Android version was the 925 official. And then in the App Store, you can actually see the change log in the version history. It's also version 1.3.0. When you look at version history, you can see support DJI FPV and certain issues and improves overall app stability and user experience. I'm using my iPad mini 4. I'm in the app store and it does show that there is an update available. So if I go into the version history, here's that 1.3.0 reference again for the changes that were supposed to be present. And if I click on update, it will then go through the update process and download the update. So let's go through and get that done now. I'm going to speed up the download and opening of the DJI Fly app on my iOS device. Let's click on open. And once we get it open, normally the screen on Android will display that it's initializing resources, but it's just kind of a blank screen here. Once we get past this, we'll get to the standard opening screen. And we'll get a prompt for Bluetooth access. I'll click OK. And then we're going to go up to profile on the lower corner there and then settings. Then look at the version in the lower left, and we're running version 1.3.0437 in parentheses. Now let's go take a look at which drones that are listed in the list of drones supported by the app. Notice one that's missing. We're going to see Mini 2, Mavic Mini, and then the Mavic Air 2, but no DJI FPV. Let's move over to the Android platform and check out the update process of the DJI Fly app to see if the auto update feature actually works this time. It's only worked one time in the past. This is running 124920 official, and it should have detected at this point that an update is available, and it didn't. So let's go confirm that version. Make sure I'm running what I think I'm running. Yes, it's 124920 official. It should have detected that 130925 official is available on the DJI servers, and it did not. That means we have to go get that APK file again and download that through the browser. So we go to the DJI.com Mini 2 downloads page. Here's the App preferences, one for the App Store, which we've already taken a look at, and here's the one for Android. Clicked on the link to download that APK file, and there's that version string we're looking for, 130, and then the 925 after that is for the 925 official. Downloading the file, and once it gets fully downloaded here, we'll click on this to install it. And once we get that going, we have the staging of the app, and I go and click on install, and we install it. And then once it gets fully installed, we'll then invoke with an open here, which will initialize the resource data after we, it gets up and running here to install the application, get everything up to date. And here we go, that update of the resource data, and we're starting the Fly app, and let's see what it comes up with for the version. No prompt for auto update here again, so it didn't detect anything later than this. Let's check out the version. Settings, and go down to the lower left, and here, 130925-official. So to get that version, you have to download the APK file. The auto-update process is still broken. So let's go up and check out which devices are available on the Android platform to see if it presents the DJI FPV device, and we have the Mavic Air 2, Mini 2, and the Mavic Mini. No DJI FPV on this platform either. We're now going to check the connection to the Mini 2 drone with version 1.3.0 of the DJI Fly app. So let's go ahead and power up the controller. And I'm indoors at this point, so the GPS is not active. So that makes sense. Let's take a look around the app, see if there's any differences, and I don't see any so far. Let's click 
click on check for updates. Firmware is up to date. Apply safe database as up to date. App version displays as 1.3.0 inside of the app as well. Let's see, at 4K, we're still 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. And 2.7K, still the same as before. 1080p. Right, I don't see any differences there. Let's go back to 4K. All right, I still don't see anything really different here in the app, so I'm gonna exit here. Well, as we can see, DJI has entered the FPV drone market with the DJI FPV drone on March 2nd, 2021. Of course, the DJI Fly app is the app to be used with it, and it was updated to version 1.3.0. As we can see on iOS and Android, you have the update process from the App Store on iOS, and you still have to download the APK file on Android. The auto update is still broken for some particular reason, and inside of the app, it still doesn't list the DJI FPV as one of the selectable devices. Maybe that's intentional, but at least that's kind of an interesting point. If you found this video informational, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.